All right, seventh graders, the objectives for this lesson is we're going to analyze the factors that led to a change in the public sentiment to uh, going uh, from being mostly against the war to mostly in favor of the war uh, with Great Britain in 1776. And to that end, we're going to uh, spend a lot of time analyzing the crucial importance of Thomas Paine's common sense. So, first thing we have to look at is that, A, and even though the war begins with Lexington and Concord, it's really the War of New England, not the full American Revolution yet. If you go from Georgia to New Hampshire and poll people, the majority of Americans didn't want to go to war. We've talked about the three different groups, the Loyalists, the Patriots, and the Fence-Sitters. Well... At this point, the fence-sitters are more leaning towards not going to war. They're scared of going to war. So, as we talked about, we need something to get them off the fence. Um, and since most moderates uh, and fence-sitters are leaning not towards not going to war, they're trying to find a peaceful solution. And to that end, the Second Continental Congress um, sends a peace proposal to King George III. Going back to Greek times, the expression of, of the olive branch. The olive branch is a symbol of peace. If two sides were at war and they wanted to end that war, or one side wanted to, they would send the other a olive branch as a means of saying, hey, I'm sorry. You know, it's kind of like if um, you and your friend get into a fight and then uh, they send over your favorite uh, ice cream to your house saying, I'm sorry, let's make up. So the olive branches like that make up ice cream. Me, personally, I'd rather you know, ice cream than olive branch, but that's just me. So they send the olive branch petition to King George, and it says that they're loyal to the King George. They kiss up to him. Wah, 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 we love you. And they say, could you please repeal the intolerable acts? If you do that, we'll do our, we will do our part to rein in the insurrection in Massachusetts and will stop this conflict hoping that King George will come to his senses he'll hold back on the intolerable acts they then can say to Massachusetts see peace worked stop the violence kumbaya but it doesn't work out that way uh, the king never reads the olive branch petition but he responds to it um, his letter back uh, to the uh, content of Congress is kind of reads kind of like how I, I put the title of the slide of you want peace? How about a piece of me? Huh? Yeah, that's right. King George sends some fighting words. Um, first, he says that I'm going to send 20,000 more troops to America to control all of you uh, and not just to Massachusetts, but throughout the colonies. What? Number two, he says that if you are not with me, you are against me. Basically, an attack at the fence-sitters. Colonists who refuse to stand against the insurrectionists, those who are in rebellion, if you refuse to stand against the patriots, you're standing with them. And you are a rebel yourself. And he says that anyone who continues to oppose him, meaning not do anything, or actually stand up to him, you are now enemies of the state and you'll be treated as enemies of the state, meaning that you will be hanged. That's right. He threatens all the members of the Continental Congress, if you don't do what I say, I'll have you hanged. Well, people usually don't take well the threats. And to that end, they vote to uh, establish the first United American Armed Force, the Continental Army, under the leadership of Hip Hip Hooray George Washington. You see... Uh, King George III over here saying anyone who doesn't agree with me is a traitor and a scoundrel. And here you see George Washington uh, now dressed as the commander-in-chief of the Continental Army. Uh, he hasn't realized what he volunteered to get into, how bad of a state that the uh, militias in Massachusetts are, that he's now taken under his leadership as a united American army. But he's the man, and that's a big step towards moving forward as a nation in going to war with England, of making an army of all Americans.